center of our sun is a black hole. I'll do some of my presentation now, but that's okay. <laughs> you did really good at moving forward in your conclusions. And that's exactly what I concluded to. And this is one of the reasons I got kicked out of physics conference, is that I didn't just tell them the sun of all galaxies were black hole. I told them all suns, including our sun, is a black hole. Including planets, planets, atoms, everything we look at. The energy level of planets, for instance, all the gaseous, plan the gaseous planet in our solar system all produce between 70 and 80 percent more energy than it receives from the sun. There is nothing in current physics that explains why. There's got to be an internal and energy producing dynamic that, ge that generates that, and I believe that's a black hole. Inside all orbiting bodies, you find the event horizon of a black hole, and depending if you're far enough from that event horizon, then you're, you're far enough from the high gravitational field so that it is like the surface of this planet, a weak gravitation. So here, we're starting to see a whole new picture of the, of the history of human beings. And in, mingled in that picture is the information that these sun gods tried to give to man and that we are rediscovering at this time. It became clear to me eventually that the sun gods must have been sun gods for a reason. They were called sun gods in all these civilizations, just the same. Well, if the universe is different scales black holes, then in order for these sun gods to travel through space from one side of the galaxy to the other, they would have to enter the wormhole, the singularity, at the center of those sun, of those black holes. So they would use stars as gateways to go from one side of the galaxy to the other. And then you would expect them to be called sun gods. That is why, for instance, the ancient tradition in most of these countries talks about the sun as the doorway to the higher realm where the sun gods come from. They talk about the black hole at the center of our galaxy as the hub, the central sun from which you can access all of the stars in the galaxy. So you would enter the sun and then through to the galactic center, out one of the arms of the galaxy, out one of the sun in, the other, in another arm of the galaxy. This is the sun as it looks normally. On the sun appears sunspots. These are sunspots. Actually, there are sunspots seen at the X-ray range level. So they appear very bright. Actually, sunspots in the uh, optical uh, spectrum are very dark. They're like black. Well, they appear 
when the sun becomes very active at 19.47 latitude north and south. Okay? And when you look at the sunspot carefully, and I picked this one because it's, I believe that sunspot are at the heart of the matter. <laughs> um, when you look at it carefully, you can see that the, bl that the, that the, the fire is being sucked in. That's what made me think, actually, from my calculation and from my theory and all this, that the sunspot on the sun are not surface events, but they're huge vortices going to the middle of the sun. The, are, the other reason, can you see the fire being sucked in here? I got in a lot of talk, trouble for saying that. Because they said, no, 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 it's just surface event. And I said, well, if it's just surface event, how come, um, how come if you look at the sunspots on the sun, they always occur in opposite polar. See, this one here got an opposite one there. These three there have an opposite three there. You see? All the sunspot occurs in opposition to each other because when you have a vortex going one way in the Coriolis effect, you have another one going the other way on the other side. And they generate a, a link at the middle, a link at singularity. Sunspots are huge vortices going towards singularity at the center of the black hole. And that's why when you look at sunspots very carefully, you see fire being sucked in. The sunspots are actually break through the event horizon of the black hole of the sun where you can actually see the, the collapsing black hole pulling the electromagnetic field in. Well, when I was saying this, I was being ridiculed. Recently, this is what they found. Awesome plasma hurricanes were one of the surprises revealed when scientists recently peered beneath the stormy surface of our star. <laughs> November 7, 2001. Using techniques similar to medical ultrasound, scientists appeared inside the sun and discovered what lies beneath the sunspots, planet-sized star carriers on the surface of our star. Astronomers have long known that sunspots are regions where magnetic fields become concentrated. Yet anyone who played with magnets as a child has felt how magnetic fields of light polarities repel each other. Likewise, the strong magnetic fields of sunspots should naturally repel each other too, causing the sunspot to quickly dissipate. Indeed, observations show that the surface material clearly flows out of the spot. What then makes sunspots so long-lasting? How do they remain intact for weeks and months? A team of scientists had to look beneath the surface of the sun to find the answer. Alexander Kosovichev and Junwei Zhao of Stanford University, along with Thomas Duval of NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, used MIDI's unique ability to probe the happenings just below a sunspot surface, and for the first time, they have clearly observed inward-flowing material. We discovered that the outflowing material is just a surface feature, said Zhao. If you can look a bit deeper, you find material rushing in, like planet-sized whirlpools or hurricanes. This inflow pulls the magnetic fields together. The cool downward flows dissipate at the same depth where the hot upward flows diverge, explained Dugan. With these data, one cannot get a sharp enough picture to really explain the details. Until now, we've looked down at the top of sunspots like they might look down at the leaves and treetops. 
for the first time were able to observe the branches and trunk of the tree that give it structure. The roots of the tree, however, remain a mystery. That's for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> now, so they started to see now that it, the, the, the sunspot, which some of them are like 14 times the size of the earth, okay, are huge vortices going towards the middle. And when they talk about material being spit out of the sunspot, do you guys know what material that is? Water. Large amount of water comes out of sunspots on the sun <laughs> right beside the fire no that's measurements for me that's the that's their measurements of the material that's coming out mostly water well steam you know H2O. 